Hey guys, this is Lori. Thank you for coming to my online class tonight. Um, just to tell you a little a bit about how I got into essential oils. Um, it was because of my son Justin. As many of you know, he has some autistic behaviors where he will scratch and pick his head. And he had put huge cuts and um, gashes on his top of his head and we had struggled for two years trying to get them to heal up. We had tried doctor prescriptions, we had tried steroid creams, we had tried pretty much everything over the counter that we could try and it just was not healing up at all. So two years, it still looked awful. He also has some behavior issues with um, anxiety and some anger and then his picking behaviors. Um, and we had already maxed him out on the amount of dosage that he could take because of his weight. So I had come to kind of the end of my answers. The doctors didn't have anything they could really help us with, with his head or his behavior. And so I had one day on Facebook was moaning and groaning about it. <laughs> as I do on Facebook sometimes. And one of my friends emailed me and she said, have you heard of essential oils? And I had not. So I started researching essential oils and spent many hours, days, weeks researching what essential oils are and the different brands and types. And um, then I came to understand that there must be something to these oils because there were so many testimonies and stories on how they changed lives and helped families that I thought, why not try it? What could it hurt? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I called her up and I ordered the essential oil kit and um, tried it. Well, I am here to say that within a couple of weeks of using lavender on Justin's head, it had already started to kind of heal up and dry out, and it looked better than it had in two years. Um, so then I started researching again and found that you could mix up different certain oils to help with autistic behaviors. So I tried that. I went through about four different blends until I found the perfect one that helped Justin. And it was amazing. It calmed him down. It made him a happier child. And we were actually went through a whole summer with no rages, no fits, no holes in the walls. We were able to take vacations and do things as a family that we hadn't done in years. So I was pretty much sold. So that's kind of how I came to using and loving essential oils. Here is the statement that I am not a doctor, I do not diagnose, I do not treat, I do not cure, or I do not tell you how to prevent certain diseases. I am a mom um, that has researched on her own, and everything I've come through is through research and personal experience. Um, so it is up to you guys to research and do your homework to make sure that you guys are well informed on essential oils. Okay, what are essential oils? They're the lifeblood of the plant. They carry oxygen, fight illness, and they protect the plant. They're super concentrated. These essential oils are very concentrated. One drop contains hundreds of beneficial, beneficial compounds. You do not have to use a half of a bottle to get results. One to two drops will definitely help you. Um, and even with little ones, I actually dilute it or mix it with uh, carrier oil such as coconut oil, grapeseed oil, V6 oil, something along those lines because it is very concentrated. You don't want to overuse these oils. All right, essential oils is man's first medicine. I believe that God provided plants to assist in healing our mind, our bodies, and our spirits. Um, it was created by God, designed by God, and it works perfectly for our body. There's actually 200 references to essential oils in the Bible including the wise men presenting the frankincense and the myrrh to Jesus and Mary anointing Jesus' feet with spikenard. I just believe that um, God provides these oils and these plants for us to use. Um, back during that time, they did not have medication. They did not have prescriptions, things like that. And I think sometimes prescriptions give you side effects, and you have to take a medicine for that side effect, which gives you more side effects. So... 
um, I'm just kind of going more back to biblical oils. So why Young Living? Good question. When I was researching, I researched all different kinds of brands and types and everything about it. And the reason I chose Young Living was several different reasons. First of all, I found that it was the most pure therapeutic grade essential oils out there. Um, they own their own land and that was important to me that they know exactly what is going on on their property. They, from the seed that they plant the plants to how the plant is grown and taken care of until it is harvested. Every single acre is owned by Young Living. So they know that there has not been pesticides used on their plants. They know that it is pure. And um, they even have acres and land in at least 20 other countries that Young Living owns. They do not um, farm it out. They do not rent the land out. They do not just buy the crops from farmers, not knowing what is going on in their plants. And that, to me, was important. And like I said, it has a seed to seal guarantee. And what that means is they know everything that happens from the very first seed that is planted until it is harvested and distilled and bottled. They test it every single batch of oil and throughout the process. Only 28% of their oils are accepted. The rest are actually put back on the land and used as an herbicide. Ways to use the oil. Um, there's three different ways. The first one that I use is topically. This is the one that I use the most. You can actually put it directly on the desired area. If your knee is hurting, you put it on the knee. If um, you have a headache, you will put peppermint. You can put peppermint on your temples or on the back of your neck, and it will absolutely go straight to where it's needed. You can use it on the bottom of the feet and your Vitaflex points. The Vitaflex foot chart, you can Google it, and they have them all over the web. Um, so you know exactly where you can put the oil on your feet to go to the right spots. The oils are in the blood system in about three seconds. They go straight through the skin. That's why they work so much faster and better than medication. If I have a headache, I get faster and better results with peppermint or some stress away than I can if I give, get Motrin or Advil that has to wait till it gets through my system to get to the right spot. You can also use direct inhalation. Um, it is gives you straight to the limbic system of the brain. You can open up a bottle and just smell it from the bottle and it will get your essential oils into your body that way. You can place a drop or two in your hands, rub your hands together and cup them over your mouth and your nose and inhale very deeply. And that will actually help get it into your system too. One of my favorite rays that I use a lot is I use a diffuse. I diffuse thieves to reduce bacteria, fungus, mold, and unpleasant odors, and thieves will actually kill airborne illnesses. Um, you can also diffuse like stress away or peace and calming or joy or anything to help relax the body, relieve tension, clear the mind, and kind of I just say chill everybody out in my family, honestly, because when the baby's flipping out and I'm stressed, I've got to diffuse some stress away to get everybody through the afternoon sometimes. It, you can also use it for concentration, alertness, and mental clarity. I use that a lot during my homeschool during the day. I will diffuse lemon or peppermint to kind of wake them up. Also, if we're doing some kind of testing or something really important, I can diffuse peppermint. And also, if they're kind of spacing out on me a little bit, I can use some vetiver, which is kind of um, works for the mental clarity. You can use um, Young Living oils only internally if you choose to. Um, the only thing I'm going to say about that is you need to really research on your own and do what you are feel comfortable doing. Um, if you do happen to take it internally, you make sure you need to use empty veggie capsules. You can put essential oils in water or juice or Ninja Red, which is a Young Living vitamin drink. Now, I have actually put thieves in honey before and helped with the cold and cough. And this bottom one, 
I do a lot with uh, peppermint or and digest. If I have really bad heartburn, I can put it on the tip of my peppermint on the tip of my tongue, and it'll get rid of it. Unless it's a really bad heartburn, like a Mexican night heartburn, I can actually put digest under my tongue, and it will instantly get rid of the heartburn. So that's pretty much the, how I use it. And I can put I've also put lemon in water and peppermint and hot cocoa before. Okay, here's the basic guidelines you need to know when you're using essential oils. You want to make sure you're using pure vegetable oil, which is a coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, I use a lot, to dilute it. And dilute it means just mixing it with it. Do not ever put essential oils in your eyes or your ears. Even if you have an ear infection, don't put the oils down in your ears. You need to make sure you put it around the ears, on the outside. If you happen to get oils into your eyes by accident at all, do not try to flush it out with water um, because oils and water doesn't mix. You want to use milk or um, actually you can use a, a carrier oil, a coconut oil or something to kind of wipe it out a little bit. Several of the essential oils like grapefruit, lemon, orange are actually photosensitive. You want to make sure that you are aware of that if you are out in the sun a lot and you use it every day. Um, read the label on the back of the jars of Young Living. It will tell you exactly how much to dilute your oils and it will tell you whether you can use them topically, diffuse them. Um, internally or all three. So you want to make sure you read the label because every oil is different. Pregnant women, epileptics, and those with high blood pressure should consult their professionals before learning, before using. I know there are several oils that um, pregnant women and epileptics should not use, so you want to make sure you're very aware of those too. Essential oils may react with synthetic petroleum-based personal care products and other chemicals in your body. All right, the Everyday Oil Kit Collection. This is the kit that I got when I first started back in May. And it is now October and I'm not even halfway through this kit. You only use a drop or two at a time, so it really does last a long time. And so I'm just gonna go over the basics of what comes in the kit and what you can use it for. The first one is lavender. You can use it for respiratory infections, high blood pressure, PMS, skin conditions, acne, eczema, psoriasis, scarring, stretch marks. Um, it works really well on eczema. You do have to use it um, repeatedly though because if you stop using it, your skin will dry out again. But while you're using it, it actually really works well with eczema. Burns, I have had great success with this. Um, burnt my finger on the stove one night and immediately put lavender on it and it stopped the burn and it kept it from blistering so I always keep lavender pretty close to me in the kitchen. Insomnia can help you calm you down. Babies is really good about helping them sleep better at night and nervous tension. Lemon. I love lemon. This can help with your circulatory problems obesity, parasites, um, UTIs, varicose veins, anxiety, hypertension, digestive problems, acne. I mean, it can just really help with a lot of things. Um, you can use it as an air freshener. It will get gum and grease drop, grease spots and crayons out of fabric and clothes and actually gum out of your hair. I have had to use that with Hannah before. You can put it in um, a drop of water to um, drink and kind of detox, detox your body a little bit. You can disinfect dishcloths, countertops. You can actually... Um, if you have to use a public restroom, put lemon on your hand and it works as like a hand sanitizer. Also, my favorite thing to do with lemon is um, when I've not felt like cleaning the house all day, I will put a little lemon in and Mark will come home. He will think that I have cleaned the house all day even though I have not. And I love that, but don't ever tell him I said I do that. The next is peppermint. 
Peppermint is my all-time favorite. I use it all the time. It has so many different uses. It is great for um, respiratory infections, arthritis, viral infections, fungal infections, digestive problems. It is great for heartburn. It is great to rub on tummies, whether it's an adult or a child, for upset tummies, diarrhea, nausea, headaches. I mean, it just um, goes on. You can use it and for poison ivy, um, hiccups. You can actually use it for um, motion sickness if you're traveling, things like that. And another thing is if you put it in a spray bottle and spray it around your doors and windows, it will actually keep the ants and the bugs from coming in your house, which is kind of cool. Frankincense. That is a um, one that is actually biblical. As you all know, it's been in the Bible. But we can use frankincense for depression, um, cancer. I, when I say that, it's, you know, um, I'm thinking I've used it for, like, not really cancer, but the dry skin, the cells on your face or whatever, it will actually help get rid of those. There's research that says it helps um, other types of cancers. I, I don't know that, so um, you'll have to do the research on that yourself. But I do know it does help with respiratory infections. Inflammation is really good. If you've got a knee or something swollen up, it will reduce the swelling. And it will work with uh, depression, brittle nails, stretch marks, warts. It gets rid of warts. I know I used that on Kenley when we first got it, although she'll kill me when she hears that I'm saying this to you guys. Panaway. Panaway is your one that's going to help with your pain. It will reduce pain and inflammation. I've actually made a pain cream out of it, which works great for after Kenley, after she has her cheer or marks with the shoulders. So it gets rid of pain, increases your circulation. Um, I've used it on my legs when they hurt at night sometimes just to get the circulation going away, going really well. It will actually help heal things faster. This is the one that a lot of people use for arthritis, muscle spasms, bumps, bruises. It's pretty much your pain one. If you're hurting, um, you can put that right on the affected spot and it should help. The next is purification. I love purification. This is one that you can put a few drops in your laundry to get rid of smells. I have to do that with my son and his boy smells. It will actually clean and disinfect the air. Um, it will neutralize mildew, cigarette smoke, any kind of odors. This is one that's really good about cleaning cuts and scrapes and bruises. It's a good disinfectant. You clean it out. It works great. Hannah uses this a lot for her bug bites. She's always getting ant bites, bees, whatever. These are your bug bites. You put that on and it will instantly stop the sting and the bite and help it from swelling up. Valor. Valor is one of my absolute most used ones because of Justin. It is basically, it was formulated to... Um, balance your energies and give you courage and confidence and self-esteem that kind of things it helps the body correct its balance and alignment but what I have found is in my own experience it has helped um, Justin with his behavior it calms him down and levels him out and it also does that for the baby too so it's just kind of a I don't know I call it their liquid chill pill I mean, it just kind of brings them down and calms them out. I know if I have problems sleeping at night, I can put Valor on my wrist and stress away on my back of my neck, and it will knock me out quickly and keep me asleep all night long. So this is your Valor, Valor and a lot of people use it for back pain and the TMJ, anxiety. A lot of people use that for sleep apnea. You can rub it on the back of the neck and on your wrist and sometimes on your the big toe and it should help with sleep apnea and snoring and those kind of sleep issues so valor is my i have to have valor i love my valor peace and calming it is what it says it promotes your relaxation 
your sense of peace, emotional. Um, it helps dampen tension, tensions and uplifts your spirit, and it will give you a good night's rest too. This may calm overactive and hard to manage children. This is the one that a lot of people will use on their um, kids that are a little bit more hyper um, and just kind of bounce off the walls a lot. It will calm them down, peace and calming. And it will reduce depression, anxiety, stress, and insomnia. This is the one that's really good to make a bath salt out of. You can take a half a cup of Epsom salt and put about three or four drops of peace and calming and mixed up and put it in your bath water and it is it's amazing it just calms you down this is your spa type oil that is so nice thieves okay we know you guys know i love thieves i'm always talking about thieves thieves is your highly antiviral antiseptic antibacterial and anti-infectious this is, um, was named that because the 15th century thieves used oils to avoid the plague while robbing the dead and the dying. So these thieves would go in and rob the bodies of people that died during the plague and they never got sick and they couldn't figure out why. And this is what it was, is they had um, mixed up their own oils of clove and lemon and cinnamon bark and eucalyptus and rosemary. And what Young Living has done is they have researched that blend and made it as close to as they could from the 15th century for us. And what it is used for is it will actually, if you diffuse it, it will kill the airborne germs in your house. So if one of your kids is sick, you put plug that up and it will hopefully help the other kids from getting sick too. You can also put it rub it and mix it with coconut oil and rub it on the bottom of feet and send them out into public and it should help them from catching the viruses and the bugs and things like that out there um, and the colds and stuff and I use that sometimes when one of my kids start getting sick you know the congestion and the cold and stuff I will mix it and dilute it with coconut oil and rub it on their chest their back and on the bottoms of the feet and usually after a day Possibly two, depends on how bad it is. Their cold's gone, their cough's gone, and it is amazing. This is the one that um, has saved me a lot of copay money. Also, you can use it in your house. I have um, made bath uh, scrub cleaner out of it to clean my toilets and my tubs and things like that. You can use it for um, gums if you have bleeding gums. You can put a drop of these on your toothpaste and brush your teeth, and it will help with gingivitis, bleeding gums. I found out today for the first time that I put it on a mouth ulcer inside my mouth, and it completely numbed the ulcer without numbing my whole mouth. So it was really, really cool. And it also you can use it on cold sores and fever blisters. And if you have athlete's foot, this is a good one to get rid of that. So Thieves is just one of the best oils and it is so good that they've actually come out with a whole line of products for thieves and the one that I use is the household cleaner and it's over on the left side and what is so great about this is when you clean with it you can clean everything from your glass to your counters to your stove I mean it is really a one bottle cleans everything type cleaners instead of pulling out a hundred different cleaners also, it is safe if a kid wants to help you or if Isabel wants to help clean the windows. I know I can give her this, and if she actually sprays it in her eyes or gets it on her hands, it's not going to harm her at all. So it's very safe for children. Also, another great thing is, you know me, I'm Miss Frugal. So what I do is I have a spray bottle full of water, and I use one cap full of Thieves Cleaner, and it will make it where you can use that whole spray bottle. So, I mean... I have used just the smallest Thieves cleaner for months now and I'm not even halfway through the bottle and it is just, it cleans, it smells good, it works great. And like I said, they've got so many other things. Now they've come out with toothpaste and hand cleaner and sanit hand sanitizer. So Thieves is really awesome. Joy. Joy is what it is. It promotes energy, brings happiness and joy, it inspires romance. Um, it 
a lot of people use it for grief and depression. I know I have used it with my two-year-old when she's had a two-year-old meltdown. I will say, let me give you some joy and rub some on her wrist. And it definitely helps with that. But joy is one of those, it's like peace and common. It is one that you can make a bath salt out of or diffuse if you just need to have some happiness and chill out time in your home. So joy is a good one too. All right, there's several other Young Living products. Um, Ninja Red is their drink that has the vitamins and minerals in it. They have probiotics, omegas, weight loss uh, products, hair care, skin care, lip balm, progesterone plus. They have a lot of different things. I haven't used all of them, honestly, but what I have used is really been great. All right, how do you get your own oil? So you've heard about everything that comes in this kit. And if you look over to the left side, if you bought the oils, it'd be 163 and 16. And then the diffuser is $98. And then they, you get a bottle of Stress Away for $39.14. So basically, if you bought everything separately, you, it would be over $300. Well, they've got the deal now that if you sign up as a wholesale member, which is basically like, I think of like a Sam's Club, um, it's you. All it means is you can buy from them from the wholesale price. You don't have to sell anything. Um, you don't have to make it where you have to buy a certain amount every month. I mean, this is literally just for one year. You can um, be a wholesale member and get the wholesale prices. Now, if you continue to buy, it will go on until you stop buying. So, But the thing is, it's great for $150, you get all the everyday oils, you get the diffuser for free, and then they're gonna throw in the bottle of Stress Away. And if you know me, you know I'm always talking about my Stress Away. I cannot live without my Stress Away. That is what has helped get me off my meds. I love my Stress Away. So this is everything that comes with it, and then it also gives you some samples that you can give away to your friends. They've given you two Ninja Red uh, vitamins and mineral packs to try. So that is the best deal. And what, um, if you're interested, all you need to do is privately email me and I will give you the directions on how to sign up. And like I said, if you sign up, you do not have to um, commit to doing anything. This is not like Pampered Chef or Tupperware or anything like that, that you have to sell or you have to do a certain amount. That is not. The only thing is what it does is it gives you the ability to be a wholesale member so you will get the wholesale prices which is basically like a sam's or something now if you choose to um, start equipping your friends and family and sell you are able to do that with this membership but you do not have to so that is it um stay tuned for just a minute and i'm going to go to the to my event page and if you guys have any questions now is the time to ask me I would love to answer if you want to send me something through private Facebook message too you don't want the whole world to know you may do that but if you definitely want one of these kits and I recommend every family have one then please email me and I will give you the directions on how to sign up and become a wholesale member to get your kit and then I will ship it out to you. Thank you.